Welcome to February Daily 2021. Now, if you've never heard of February Daily before, well, I don't doubt that because it's a personal challenge that I started two years ago to make a video every day of February. Now, it is a huge challenge to take on for a fabrication channel. If I was a vlogger just walking and talking to a camera, then there'd be no worries. It'd be an easy task. But fabricating things, it is a real challenge. So we're going to start off by cleaning up the shed because, well, it is a mess. I bought a lot of tools at the end of last year and, well, they're all over the floor taking up a lot of space. So first thing we do, the first week of this challenge is going to be setting up tools and making this place a lot more worker friendly. So. The big blue sander is taking up the most space, so we're going to start with that. We're going to assemble it all. We're going to get the electrician in to wire it up, make sure it's all good. And then I'll give you a little demonstration of how great this sander is. So, yep, first up, the sander. Alright, so the instructions tell me to put the foot plate onto the bottom of the stand and then put this on top of that. But I still don't have an engine crane to lift this up with, so I think I'm just going to do it in reverse. Have this sitting here upside down, mount the stand and then the foot plate, and then carefully roll the machine over onto its base. So that seems to be logical. Now there's two big bolts through the top of this that need to go through here, so side plate open and away we go. Alright, time to flip this thing over and hope there's no oh heck moments. Now you probably already know if it's going to go right or wrong depending on the name of this video, but... <sighs> Wish me luck! Yes! Alright, this is pretty much where this machine is going to live. We still need to assemble the rest of the machine, so... More bits.
So I've got all this machine bolted together. The instructions weren't that helpful because this whole section is different to the one in the plans. But it's together and, well, should work. A couple of minor problems. This adjusting bolt for the height of the rollers, well, I don't think this is going to stay in for very long. And this piece here is a backstop for when you put steel in so that it goes to the same position every time. Problem is, it's got a lot of play in it. So, we're going to fix this and probably weld some ends onto this so it won't fall out. That should work a lot better. And it doesn't flop around, so perfect. Now, welding. Leaving post flow on it so that the actual steel can cool down while it's still protected by gas. That looks pretty good, I think. Alright, so that should be good there now. I actually had the earth clamp on the actual bar so that I was not sending an electrical charge through the whole machine. Because that can damage things like bearings or electrical components. So always clamp as close to the weld as you can, really. Now, this should work really good now. The only other problem is this T-handle that came with the machine. It's an eight millimeter. Now, there's only one bolt on the machine that that would be used for, where there's about six bolts on this thing that are six millimeter. So I'm gonna have to go find a new T-handle just for this machine, because I'd like to have one on it. Uh, all that's left is the electrician. And well, I've had a phone call, he is on his way. So we'll get this wired up and then I'll show you how it works. All right, so we've got it all going. The electrician's been wired it up and it all runs. Now it's got the 36 grip belt on it which is what it needs for tube notching and it does a good job so we've got this piece on the end here or one on each side this V in here is for pipe or putting RHS in at a 45 degree angle depending on what you need or you can rotate it and put box section in square and it's got steps to keep it in place so we're doing pipe, so we'll have it there. Just slides in like that. Tighten it down. And then the lever will push it into the belt. So, we'll get you a different position. And let's go. we 
we go. All notched and cleaned up, ready to weld. So we've done that notch, took a matter of seconds, and fits onto a 42mm pipe fairly well. Alright, so that's a bit of 34mm pipe, so 25 nominal bore with a 3mm wall thickness, and it notched that in a matter of seconds. Then I cleaned up the outside and well, it fits perfectly on whatever size you want. The machine actually came with seven different sizes of rollers. So that's a 32 mil roller, there's a 20 and the biggest 76. So I can do a three inch notch. So quite a versatile machine that will be getting put to use with uh, buggy frames, Tube chassis. Cameraman Nick would really like some scrub bars on his patrol. Hell yes. So, that's it for day one of Feb Daily. Next video, we're going to be setting up a drop saw so then we can cut pipe to size. But, it's not as simple as just putting it on a bench. So, check back tomorrow for episode two of Feb Daily 2021. And, as always, customize everything. Shed Corgi approves.